What keeps you so positive and hopeful about our planet given the many environmental challenges we face? I think you have a choice. Um, and very few people achieve anything through being negative. Um, I allow myself one day a week to be negative. Uh, the six other days, uh, I have to stay positive. Um, one, because I think you achieve more through being uh, optimistic than being pessimistic. Uh, and the, the other is because being pessimistic is no way to live. So, I mean, even if you are able to achieve whatever it is that you want, through sort of having a negative or pessimistic outlook, it's not going to be that much fun getting there. And so, you know, you have to believe that what you're doing is going to be successful and you have to have a good time getting there. And so kind of keeping those things uh, in mind, I, I choose to, to, stay, to stay optimistic, even in light of, you know, raw empirical data that tells me there's a lot that's moving in the opposite direction. I look for those pieces that are actually saying, look, there are a few things that are going in the right direction. If we have enough momentum, we can continue to push that way. Um, it's one of the uh, core values of the organization I work for, uh, but it's also a core value that, that, I, that I hold on to in my, in my own life, that um, you know, we all have moments where you know, sort of the, the, the dark crazies take over, but um, that's generally, unless you're an artist, that's not a place where you're gonna find uh, uh, creation. You know, that's not a place that you're going to find uh, motivation. And so I, I, I really try to, to stay on uh, the side of optimism and the side of kind of hopefulness when I, when I push forward. Because I, I just don't think there's any, uh, any way to live. And you're, you're going to be a pretty miserable person yeah. if you do.